Abija boy. Raid. <gasps> Panther Honey Toll House. Elephant, save him. No. Oh, our first mech cluster. All right. Toxic Spewer. No. Mechs are coming. Yeah. Tinned. Tinned to the cantaloupe. Well, the jungle is almost barren. We really need wood, too. This is brutal. Rooster 3 has dementia. We gotta get rid of those three sluggers. I don't know if an, the elephant and the rhino alone can do it. We really need, like, a trade group or something to come in. Oh, God. Toll House. What? Oh, I never put him back to restricted. All right, minus three for six days. Well, the rice is going to come in in time, so that's good at least. Uh, I'm just going to put meditation spots where it's for tea. Um, a beige boy's clothes have deteriorated away to nothing. He's worn his clothing so long that uh, they just literally fell off his body. And this is rough. Rainy hit us with so much right at the beginning of the stream. Multiple raids, multiple manhunters. We had like three or four manhunters. Uh, one or two raids and a mech cluster. Corn! Near the edge of that. Well, the chickens have dementia because of the toxic fallout, so. I actually think the elephant and rhino can take these out. But, yeah. Taking out the actual problem causer is going to be a problem. But we'll have food, so that's good at least. Does dementia make the chicken taste different? I don't know. I'm not going to test it. All right. Well, we're going to try to take out one of the turrets and hopefully, hopefully it explodes. Okay. I don't have a shield belt, so here we go. I did 200 damage. Did someone say pizza cake? <laughs> uh, I did not say pizza cake. Man, it almost died from that. Oh no. I need to have him start carrying medicine. Oh, I heat wave. We're out of wood. Boy, the game is trying to give us another colonist. Hey, incapable violence. Depressive. Nope. All right, so now we take them back home. We let them heal up, and then we come back for the other turret. So now I have to retain the rhino. All right, all right. Uh, things can still walk over this too, which is unfortunate. We gotta, we gotta finish blocking that off. Even if we have to go around this way, it's kind of ridiculous, but it's really our only option. Infection. All right, what a mess. Attack Neko and Cantal Cantalupe. That's cantaloupe. Oh, the heat wave, man. There's like, there's basically gonna be no wood on the map. We don't have, uh, we don't have coolers, air conditioners researched yet. I don't want these chickens. Release them. Actually, don't release them in here. Get those out of here. Boy, the game wants us to get up to uh, a better number of pawns. Waiting on the animals to heal back up. Uh, tier four side cast. Let's see if we get something helpful. Not sure what I would want. There's a lot of good stuff starting at tier four, though. And the rhino's dead. And we got malaria. <laughs> oh, man. 
Hey, Skip is a very good, very good side cast. It doesn't really help us in this situation, but it's a very good one. Uh, it, yeah, it was damaged. So the Rhino was damaged from the fight, and the infection was in the liver, plus the... Yeah. Look at that, 92.4%. Man, oh man, today is brutal for this run. Let's finish this, and then you can rest. Brutal, brutal. All right. Well, we're not going to die of starvation at least. So might end up having to eat raw food because we're going to run out of wood. We're going to be in the dark over there. Wait, do we have any? We have two components left. So we actually have enough for a uh, electric stove. Okay. We have just enough for that. Barely. So what is this manipulation at? 92. Build it before you lose more manipulation from malaria. Really sucks that all the components are at the bottom of the map. Unreal. Really curious what raid points are going to be at now. We lost a combat animal, which drops it a bit. But I've also built some other things. A growth moment for a beige boy. Uh, this is awesome that he got these options because he came to us with like no growth at all and already threw one of his tears. And he just got um, Sanguine. Lucky hit on Sanguine. Sanguine in construction. Excellent. Way to go, beige boy. Way to go. Could also ha have him deal with animals now, too. What is Sanguine? Sanguine is plus 12 mood forever. So it's just a mood increase of plus 12. The perfect child. He plans the rhino corpse. No, I need to move it before it, uh, before it starts spewing out gas. We can butcher, we just can't slaughter. I can technically butcher it and use the rhino leather, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to. Oh no! I didn't fix it. Crap. I wasn't even paying attention over there because I had so many other things that I was doing. At least the rice will come in really quickly with a rich soil, so. What side cast do we have right now? We have... Pain block, neural heat dump, chaos skip, and skip. I'm actually thinking about researching straight to turrets. It's going to take quite a while, but let's work on getting there. Man, if... come on, guys, go that way. So what I'm wondering is if we can do this. Let me try this first. He drops the wood. There we go. So now what I'm wondering is if we can do this. No, it doesn't collapse that way. I didn't think so. So we'd have to rebuild this over and over. Hey. Come back. You actually take that out. Maybe we can go take out the turret. And then I can roof the whole thing. Let's go. Go, elephant, go. The wall's only five, so. Oh, it didn't blow up. We got lucky. All right, nice. So now we can just do it how I was planning to originally. Cantaloupe is a great elephant name. Yeah, that was a random one from the, from the queue. He did a really good job there. It didn't blow up, so. All right, so now, let him rest. Cantaloupe has tough skin. We might actually survive this. Man of dirt. Good thing I wasn't out there building that friggin' roof. Jeez. Randy's out for blood today, guys. Holy crap. Your case. Yeah, for anything. Well, we've had everything. We had raids. We had mechs. Had lots of uh, animal attacks. Yeah. The no walls are running. Not the small dogs. 
never tamed manhunting animals a long time ago, but it's not worth it. Yeah. Especially with Scaria. How much research with an IED? Or are you talking about an IUD? Because those are both in the game right now. You typed IUD, but I'm guessing you mean IED. <laughs> well, IEDs are right here. So it wouldn't take too long to get to. And IUDs are up here. It takes a little bit longer. Normally that typo would be like, what? There's no IUDs, but now there are. <laughs> With biotech, there are. All right, here we go. Can you use an IED as an IUD? You can, yeah. If you use an IED on someone, they generally don't have any more children. One time use only, yeah. G generally, generally. All right, here we go. The, the toxic sphere is at 1276. 1276, here we go. Hey, that did quite a bit of damage. The full roof did quite a bit. All right, so now we want to do structure. This is so silly. Structure. And let them... Sleeping sickness. Oh, come on. Build the whole roof. What's wrong with you? What are you trying to do? Get more medicine. Welcome to the jungle. I love the jungle. Sleeping sickness is a pretty brutal sickness that can only ha happen on tropical maps, basically. The so sleeping sickness uh, increases pain, reduces consciousness, reduces manip manipulation. Uh, it lasts quite a long time, too, and requires tending pretty often. It's kind of like malaria on steroids. All right, collapse that wall. Oh, so close. It's gonna take one more. That actually isn't too bad. It's it's kind of awesome that we're having to make these workarounds. <laughs> Autobong, maybe, maybe. Here we go. <laughs> the way that we had to get rid of a of a problem causer. So so stupid. Hey, it's not stupid if it works. All right, we did it. Um, I kind of want to do the outer wall, but it's going to add a bit of wealth. Let's get these while we can. Oh, we have preach health now. Let's do that. I bet he doesn't even have to lay down. We preach health on him. Uh, it's still a little bit close. We should probably just let him. Let's not take the risk. So we'll have him bed rest. Can you modify animals in Rimworld? Not without a mod. Yeah, you can't give animals bionics or prosthetics without a mod. Why am I already growing inside? Because I had... Look at the... This is jungle. Do you notice anything? You notice how there's nothing growing? We had a... Toxic spewer. <laughs> I killed everything on the map. But no, I, I had to. We would have died if I hadn't done this. We still almost died. Like, we cut it pretty close. But now the jungle should grow back. And we'll see how long until Randy drops another problem causer on us. <laughs> yeah, all of our animals aside from one elephant. Psychic drone low. That's really not good for us. We're, we are super size sensitive, so low psychic drone is minus 17. An off-map droner or an off-map suppressor would be brutal. We got to try to find some uh, tinfoil hats. I think only exotic traders can have them. Usually exotic trade ships. Can settlements have the tinfoil hats? I'm not sure. Let me use the ancient danger to get more manpower to fight the next problem. I could, but it's very dangerous. If I open it and there's centipedes in it, we just die. There's tinfoil hats in Rimworld? Yeah, there have been since Alpha, yeah. Not tinfoil, yeah. Psychic foil. Foil, foil ha helmets, foil hats, yeah. You can't craft them, no. Don't break down, Toll House. We need to put him outside for just a minute so he doesn't get cabin fever. He's not an undergrounder. He's a little over halfway through his sleeping sickness. I like how the run forces some creativity on dealing with even basic stuff like the cars. Yeah, <laughs> this is a weird build. Another manhunter. Randy sent several uh, like raids early today and then since then it's just been animals pretty much. Well, the mech cluster. Uh. Is 
Is it elephants? Oh, it's tortoise. <laughs> we, we have all the time in the world. Randy's not asleep today? No, definitely not. It's been a, it's been a hectic day. Definitely not asleep. A war merchant. Asia boy, go open those doors. Asia boy. Rare thrombos. Now oh, the tea supply. Yeah, I do need to look at that too. We have, well, we have plenty. We have 60 and they, they need, they need one every five days, but they can go up to 30 days with that one. I could put it, uh, spread it out again, but I think I'm going to do the walls next. All right, let's try it. We have a three and a half percent chance to tame these. And the caravan beat the thrombos. It doesn't matter. I have no way to anger the thrombos. I can't, I literally can't attack them because we are incapable of violence. So there's, there's no way for the caravan to attack them. So it doesn't matter. I have no way to aggro them. But yes, the caravan could beat them, but there's no way to aggro them. All right, we got about three and a half percent chance here. Failed. Try one more. Put the generator next to it. Blow it up. <laughs> oh, Manhunter, while we're at. What is going on with Randy just attacking nonstop with Manhunters today? Boom rats. Good lord, man. At least this caravan's here taking them out for us. It's one of the best P music tracks right here. Is that about floating at tables was his favorite bug. I had to re-enable it. Yeah, I didn't I didn't run into that one. That's funny. Oh, now we get visitors from the side that would have taken out the turret, maybe. Of course. Almost over uh, Sleeping Sickness here. Dapper Mufflo is the mod. Oh my god, man. What? This is nuts. Um, There's a few trees that have started to grow again, but... Probably should have, uh, crap. We're going to be in some real trouble with a raid. Might even have to make some stone traps. They're usually not worth doing, but make a roof trap. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. I need a back. Yeah, I need a back door to you. Won't work against mechs, though. Where'd they leave us? A bow. Thanks, jerks. You really should have settled on a jungle map so you'd have unlimited wood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a great idea. Wait, isn't this a jungle map? It is, yes. We did start as tribal so we can sow our own trees, but that will take quite a while. Would you like to see a swamp after talks fall out? It would be interesting to see how fast the swamp which tree you so matter it does they they have different uh growth rates and different amounts of wood so like this one yields for 48 it, it's kind of like the difference a lot of them are between like rice and corn there's there's the rice of trees there's corn of trees uh certain ones grow faster than other ones see this one takes too long actually i want to do the other one i think uh palm is the lower like, Swarrow is really good if you have a map that you can do Swarrow. And there we go. That's the one I wanted. Um, a Swarrow Cactus give you wood, and they grow very quickly. Corn trees? You have to string all life on them, and then uh, to regrow it. I don't know, man. It just happens. It's not me. It just sort of happens. 
You think the darkest time of the run has passed? I don't know. There's more to come, man. That was that's been brutal today. It's been nonstop since the stream started. How long did that whole whole ordeal last? Let's see. <laughs> Almost two and a half hours we've been struggling. Bolt goods? We don't have a lot of bolt goods to sell you. Sell them some of the cloth. Alright, looks like we're over sleeping sickness, so that's good. Uh, we actually want to ally these guys too, so we should probably just gift unless we're wanting anything from them. Um, but I can imagine we want anything from them right now. A, B, C! Not, not yet. Not yet. Alright, so we're going to gift them um, 200 cloth. Alright, I really want to get that wall done. What's the worst raid we could have right now? Siege we could beat, yeah, because we have an animal pulser. The worst raid right now would be Sapper or Breach. Uh, Bre actually, Sapper. Sapper would probably be the worst raid right now. Breach, we would just have to let them destroy the base. Excuse me, we might have too low of raid points for Sappers or Breachers. Yeah, that's true too. Because it looks like even on a high roll right now, we get like... I think the highest roll that we saw was this, the Elephant Manhunter was like 430 something. That's probably a 1.5 Randy roll. On average, we're getting about 380. Haven't seen Sapper drop pod raid forever. They made drop pods uh, more rare, rarer, late into 1.3, and then again in 1.4. When does a Beja boy grow up? Uh, he's eight. So his next growth moment is at 10, which is two uh, seasons away. You don't know how Randy rolls exactly how... Oh, for threshold things? Yeah, that is a... That is kind of an, an interesting thought. So, it, I guess it depends on which one comes first, right? So, let's say that to get a Breacher, you need... Let's just say, just, just for the description, you need 500 raid points, right? Oh, my God. Let's say you need 500 raid points. So if you're only at, two, like... You're only at 400 raid points, but Randy decides to roll 1.5. Can it then become a breach or not? Yeah, it's a... Hmm. A long time ago, I used to use a chat program that uh, no names had capital letters. No names. All names were all lowercase on it. And so people would come in and I would just read the name quickly or whatever. And a lot of times the names would be uh, incorrect because it would still make like names or sounds or whatever. Like That's like Taco Making Kin, Tacoma Kin. And so I would read them off. And then later on, I would realize uh, sometimes months later, there was a different name. So Tacoma Kin came in and was like subscribing for quite a while. And I was calling him Tacoma Kin. And then I, I changed over to a new chat program that shows the actual capitalization. And I saw his name was Tacoma Kin after calling him Taco Macon for like months. I was like, wait a friggin' minute. Is your name actually Tacoma Kin? And he's like, yeah, yeah, it is. It's like, why didn't you correct me? And he's like, uh, Taco Macon was a pretty cool name. I kind of liked it. <laughs> so, anyway. And again, do you think raid points are calculated first? That's what I was thinking too, yeah, but... Taco Macon's a pretty cool name. Taco Macon. The jungle just started growing back. Randy says, let's burn it all down. The jungle must not grow on my watch. Randy hates life. We all, we all knew that. He doesn't hate it. He's just indifferent to it. Randy, can I get some rain? Randy, can I get some rain? Destroyed by drop pod, explosive pirates. Hey, rain. Yeah, that's why I eventually went away and started doing a uh, mountain map. Nah, he hates it. It's right. He's not any goods. All right, we can keep an uh, eye on this for the foil hat. I think it's usually from ships though yeah so for anyone that doesn't know if you have a forced weather event well here i'll go back to the, if you have fire on your map there is a trigger in the game that it will eventually rain and put out the fire however if you have a forced weather condition from like a quest it overwrites that so if you have like fog from a quest for 14 days and you have a fire it will not rain to put it out and it can literally literally burn the entire map jungle doesn't matter doesn't matter where you are, you can burn the whole map. We had that happen here in the first melee run, which, like I said, is the, the hardest run I've ever done. Grabbing a telescope early wouldn't be a bad idea. 
But I'm actually wanting to save up in case we find Berserk or Berserk Pulse. Have them grouped. They're grouped by expansion and by individual, but also Tasty Ham. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you something that's going to help if you'll use it. Go to my website. Go to adamverseverything.com. At the top, there's playthroughs. You can click RimWorld and you can see every RimWorld playthrough that's on YouTube and it links straight to the playlist. It explains what they are. Each one has the seed, the mods listed, everything. Um, the newer ones have downloads for them. So you can download the save files, the um, the ideologies for you to use. So adamverseverything.com, playthroughs at the top and there's a RimWorld section. There's a guide section, there's guides written. Um, yeah, check it out. Check it out. It's, it's probably the best place and regardless where things are going to end up on YouTube, like if YouTube changes something or whatnot, that will link to all of them. So it's a it's a good one if you want to, uh, if you're curious about like what I've done, where, where it is. You can just watch every video. That's true, too. Who would do such a thing? Why not? 55 Manhunting Snow Hair is a three star. Four Cataphracts. We could use those to clean up the cars. We can get the advanced components for when we need advanced research. I could clear out the cars of the cataphracts and then just let them die to the rabbits. I think we do that, but if a door gets open, we lose. We are dead. All right, here we go. It's just going to be four cataphracts out in the wilds versus 55 manhunting snow hares. All right, here we go. If there's any outside interference, doesn't matter. Am I going to clear the cars first? Yeah, I think I am. Again. All right, let's do it. Oh my, look at those weapons. Violence. It's not us doing it, so it's all right. All right, anything else I need them to punch? I don't think so. The rest of the stuff is uh, deconstructible, right? Yeah. Anything else we need them to beat up while they're here? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Ooh, if they survive, we can have them do the ancient danger. I don't know, man. They're pretty strong. Cataphracts win. You'll be displeased. What's the melee DPS of a charge lance? I have no idea. Let's check it out. 4.5. So about the same as an elephant. That's kind of nuts, actually. We got 736,000 points on Cataphracts winning. 623,000 on them losing right now. That's crazy. Am I going to micro the Cataphracts? Um, you can only do so much microing against the bunnies. What do you guys think? Should I try to micro them a little bit? Or should I just have them all? Oh God, there's a, there's a raid. It's an all melee raid. Let's go check how uh, accurate these guys are for the bunnies arrive. No micro. Okay, I won't. I won't micro them against the bunnies. Hey, don't damage these guys. They gotta fight some bunnies in a second. Oh, we can't let that guy survive either because... He might hit a bunny on his way out. All right. But I'm not going to micro against the bunnies. Eh? I'm only a lot less confident in them. Seeing that. It was that guy tough? Um, that one was delicate. He made it that far. They're ne Neanderthals. They're Neanderthals. So they also had... Um, uh, what should we call it? Where are you going? They also had uh, Robust. Robust. I think the rabbit's going to win. Here they are. Let's go fight them on the beach. 
the black cataphracts. Wind Bunny down. Milenos taking the brunt of the damage right now. Crust. Crust. I'm going with Crust. Oh, Crust is like unloading on him. Oh, they're trickling in. This is changing things. Uh oh, guys. Oh, there's still a lot of rabbits left, but they've they managed to take a lot out. I'm going to have to move the cataphracts over to fight the rest. All right, here we go. Oh. Okay. Hands off. Oh. A lot of them are coming. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're all melee locked now. Wait. Mal is not melee locked. Oh, they're melee locked again. This could be the end of them. All four are melee locked. If the rabbits swarm now. Oh, they managed to kill those in hand-to-hand -hand combat. How are the injuries doing? Let's take a look. This guy has one bleed on his foot. A couple bleeds here. One bleed there. No bleeds on Fosso. Here comes more of them. Oh, headshot on the rabbit. Insta-kill. Way to go. Here comes the next wave. That's it. The cataphracts won. I did not. I would have not. I would not have voted on the cataphracts. I would have lost. I would have lost.